Welcome to what many call the greatest setting in college football. Husky Stadium in Seattle settled nicely between the Cascades and the Olympic Mountains, and it doesn't get much better or much louder than this. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the MAC, the Eastern Michigan Eagles, taking on the 24th ranked team in the land, the Washington Huskies. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Eastern Michigan ready to kick it off and get this game going. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. The Huskies' offense will have the first possession of the game. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Great heads-up awareness by the cornerback on that play. He saw the receiver get the ball. He shot downhill and made a nice tackle. To the air. It's Rodgers feeling some heat. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Man, you can't draw it up any better than that. First possession, force a third down. You want to shut the home crowd up, sack the quarterback, create some momentum. Now you're getting the football back to your offense, probably with great field position. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Looking for a block. It's Walton. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. So the Eagles offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. The gift to the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damage when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains, and just set your defense for positive situations down the road. They'll try to power their way ahead. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out sometimes. He's got it down the left side. Afterburner's coming. Touchdown, Huskies. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And what nice play design. You get your speedster, you put him in the slot, you usually get a better matchup. And then what do you do? You fade him towards that sideline, run a go. Nice ball thrown way out wide. He just runs underneath it and just too much speed. Couldn't catch him. Gets in the end zone for six.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Middle Tennessee is going to enjoy the trip back to Murfreesboro after a rock-solid performance. And you take care of business on the road, and you stack games there in Floyd Stadium, and suddenly it's quite the resume. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings, and the other heads home licking its wounds. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. You see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. Quickly to the tight end. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Gonna run it. It's McMillan. There to make the tackle, and that's how we'll wrap up this first period. That's the end of the quarter, and Washington has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. To the air, it's Snyder. Not the type of accuracy you typically see from this senior quarterback. Better find the air plugged. Here comes the noise backing this defense on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Walton. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Just not able to shake enough defenders and comes up a little bit short. And I think a lot of times on third down, Reese, you bet on your guy. When you're an offensive guy, you say, okay, he's going to break a tackle. He's going to get north and south and somehow get the first down. Nice tackling by the defense, understanding where they had to get to and forcing the fourth down. The Eagles are moving quickly down the field. Hands it off. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting him drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. the nine-yard pickup on first down. Here's second and one. Quarterback checking off. He's back to throw on second down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Walton. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield, and he moves the sticks. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down on the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw which can help them get that going. They go right back to it. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down 
to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. And this offense will have to feel pretty good about itself if it can tie the game before halftime. First and goal. He's got it. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. Yeah, great job creating space. That's what you're supposed to do. When you get man coverage, you've got to find a way to get a step, make it easy for your quarterback to read that leverage. And when he drags across the field, he can see he had him. He completes it for the first time. And I love that this offense stuck to it, stuck to the run game, didn't panic. They got down, but they answered the bell right before the half, and they got this thing right where they want it now. They can tie this football game and hopefully go into the half with a lot of momentum. Ready to try the point after. Bangs it through for an extra point. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. He'll start the return inside his five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, Daniel, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Let's see what they've got on second down. To throw, it's Rodgers. Let's it fly. Snags it inside the 20. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Washington. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, Keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. Fair catch, called for and made. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Quick strike complete. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Caught over the middle. It's Clark. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Catch in the middle, it's McMillan. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And this offense, I think, will do a good job in this game, divvying up the football and distributing it to different guys in the passing game. It won't just be receivers, it's not going to be tight ends. This running back, he's a weapon, too, after he catches it. You saw it right there. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. 
They're going to go to the air on third and short. That one will be incomplete, and we are down to 10 seconds to go. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. they got that three in their back pocket. On fourth down, going to the air. And the pass is incomplete on fourth down, but hold on just a second. We've got to see what the flag's about. This offense plenty happy enough with the result of that. Washington about to boot it deep to start things in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. If they're going to get on top in this game, they're going to have to find a way to get the running game going in the second half. I agree. So it can create some more balance, some more unpredictability. I feel like this defense has got a good beat on what they're doing, especially if they don't mix it up a little bit. So I do look for a little second half running the football ball right at this point. And I think the thing, Dave, is they just got to be more physical. I don't think this is a scheme question about trying different run plays. I think it's up to the big fellas up front. They've just got to make the decision that they're going to be tougher here in the second half so that they can win this game. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Wants to throw on third down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Wheeler. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. If you're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Good job on defense getting a hand on it, tipping it up in the air. They weren't able to pick it off, but they do force the incompletion. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. On third down, he drops the throw. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. When you get the incompletion there on third down, you've still got a half of football basically to play. Do you trust your defense down one possession to get it back to give you a shot? If you don't, then you've got to stay out there and you've got to go for this and you've got to dial up your best play to stay on the field. They'll run it from the gun. Got the first down. Looking for more. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. They created a lot of breathing room with that first play of the drive. Now first down from the 39. With the catch, it's McMillan. Stopped after making the catch. What's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved. Out in the perimeter in space, we can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. Showed off just about every move in the book, except the forward move. It's not for a short game. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. On the run, it's Snyder. Complete and looking for enough for the first down. That's the end of the quarter, and Washington has the lead. They've done the work to build a nice cushion. Now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Huge play here late, and this crowd is coming to help the defense. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He uncorks one deep. Incomplete on four.
He wants to throw. Fires to the right. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. Eastern Michigan going fast. Good start to this drive, and they'll need much, much more if they're going to give them a finish. They need a ton more of this, but you got to start the drives great. The first play needs to be really good. That was a good start. Now we got to keep building on it, and we got to do it in a hurry. Second down after that incompletion. Well, the defense didn't get caught napping there. In this situation, you know they have to stay alert for the deep ball. Yeah, so what defense am I going to call? I'm going to keep some DBs back deep. I'm going to keep my safety a little bit deeper. Understanding they're down. I'm going to have to attack down the field. I'm going to stick to my passing sets, my nickels, my dimes. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Can't make the play on the intercept. We're looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. No sign of the punt team as they will go for it and try to move those chains. Fires to the wideout. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. And the Eagles are on the move. Hey, man, that was just perfect execution offensively. On a fourth down like that, if you're going to throw a completion, get the first and keep the drive alive, QB's got to be great with his eyes. He's got to throw it on time. His target has to be in the perfect place at the perfect time, and you got to be able to haul it in. They checked all the boxes on that fourth down. He'll just keep slinging it. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. To the air. It's Snyder. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Offense gets set for second down. Motion from the offense. Right back to the air on second and ten. And the pass is incomplete. Jarred loose by the hit. Well, that looked like it was going to be a completion, but how about the defender making the hit and forcing the incompletion? They were really starting to put a drive together. After a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Pulls it in. It's Wheeler. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter, their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. And he's got it! Touchdown, Eastern Michigan! Well, how about that? And after that touchdown, we might have a finish after all, Jesse. I love it, Reese. And this team is not quitting. Yeah, they're down on the scoreboard right now, but they are clawing and they are scratching their way back in this game. They're going to keep going hard until this clock reads all zero. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? A bit of... Trying to start the drive with a pass. Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. Well, the good news is he did a nice job reading the coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football that time. Just a little bit too much on that pass. You wonder if that's just nerves. He's got to settle himself down a little bit. Complete downfield. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. 
Pocket starts to collapse. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. Throwing right. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Looking to throw, it's Snyder. Throws to the wideout. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Man, that's a tough play to make. When you're that far down the field and you've, you're trying to control your body and run as you're laying out, that's a really great effort, really good concentration, and that is how you make your quarterback look really good. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. That one comes out hot down the right side. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business first and goal. This offensive scoring position with a fresh set of downs. They want to throw it. He makes a grab, and he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, we've got a chance at a finish. And listen, still a ways to go. But great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one-possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. So a well-executed eight-play set. After back-to-back -back losses, this team is really teetering on the edge of disaster. They got to try to hold on to the positives, as hard as that is to do right now, having lost a couple back-to-back, -back, because this team has good players, and they've got good schemes on both sides of the ball. Just things have not gone their way. They just need to make a few more plays to turn this thing on. Yeah, and, and they can do it, and they will do it. Listen, you get you got to get the players right. You got to get those guys in there believing. Um, this is part of what happens. You got to take a few lumps sometimes, take those losses. But this team's going to figure it out. You can tell they got the right stuff. And that's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.